Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very exciting Shein haul. This is actually a combination of Black Friday and Cyber Monday finds. I will be splitting um, the blog posts up into a Black Friday blog post, um, an Instagram post, and a Cyber Monday Instagram um, and blog post kind of ordeal just because I have so many items here today. But for the YouTube video, I decided to put them all together just because it made more sense than doing a Shein haul literally every other day. So without further ado, let's hop right in. Okay, like I said, I have so many items today. Um, I have a lot of good things, but I'll be honest, I have more bad things than I've gotten in previous hauls like this one I did have a bunch of duds but I did have some awesome pieces to balance that out I'm realizing now that I should have worn something other than black because it kind of looks like I'm just a floating head but the first thing that I picked up is actually just a black mock neck bodysuit I love mock neck tops I think that they're an essential regardless of what your wardrobe is um, and I just love this one it's very very soft it's a cottony material and it is ribbed I do wish that it was a thong bodysuit rather than a full butt bodysuit, but most Shein bodysuits tend to be full butt. They do have cla or little snaps though, which make it easy to use the bathroom in. I know this comes in orange too. A lot of this is going to be kind of out of order, uh, just like random stuff, so bear with me. Um, the next top is this little orange cinched top. This is super cute for going out. I'm not, usually not an orange girl, like this color orange, but... I was really drawn to this top. I love the little bell sleeves. It's on the lower side and it does have this little cinch detailing in the middle. Super cute for going out with just a pair of jeans and boots. All right, I'm actually gonna hop right in with jackets because I hit the jacket jackpot, guys. Like, so many good coats from Shein. Um, I do live in Ohio for school, um, so I have a parka from Eddie Bauer that's like my snow parka like when it's super cold but on days where like it actually gets to 40 degrees a coat like this is really fun it's perfect um I know that wearing your parka or north face coat like that can get super redundant and boring and I think one of the easiest ways to spice up your winter wear is by getting really cute coats I've gotten a lot of requests to do um a blog post slash youtube video on how to dress for the cold while still looking cute. Um, this jacket is so perfect. I actually have a light pink um, velvet puffer from Shein that I got last year and it's cropped and it's got a cute little hood and my baseball boys love that coat. They always love when I wear it. Um, so this one's just like a longer version of that. It's super, super cute. No hood, just a little collar and their velvet coats are literally the best material. I got another one that I'll show you later on in this haul. They're super thick, very plush and this is perfect. Like. I don't know. I think this is so fun. The next coat I got is a floor length uh, cheetah fur coat. Um, obviously faux fur and I will be honest, no one in their life really needs a floor length cheetah coat but if you find a reason for one, a need for one, or an overwhelming desire just to have one of these for when you go to the grocery store, buy one because it will literally be the best decision of your life. Um, like I said, just the floor length Cheetah Co. I have a shorter one from Shein that I wore all the time last year and I just saw a floor length one. I was like, you know, why not? Um, so I love getting scent clothes because I'm able to choose items like this that honestly I would have never gotten on my own. But I really do think that I'll probably be showing up to Christmas Mass in this bad boy because it's so cute. This black sweater is one of the best from Shein. I've been really needing a cropped black sweater and just a good black sweater in general. This one I love. It's the perfect length. It looks really short when you hold it up, but when you try it on with high-waisted jeans, it's like the perfect, hits you in the perfect spot. The sleeve length is perfect. I only get sweaters from Shein that are 19 inches or longer. If you know me, you know that. Um, I don't know, I love this and think a black sweater is an essential in every girl's wardrobe. This next coat is kind of like a trench style. Um, it is from their brand Simply, and I love when things come from the Simply brand. They tend to be really, really nice quality. This is just like a light tan on the outside and it's got a little hound's tooth. No, this isn't hound's tooth. This is plaid. What am I talking about? Plaid on the inside. This is super cute. It's very thin. It's not really a coat I can even wear in Ohio anymore now that we're well into November. Like we have snow and this is really just a thin layer. But this is a really great September little piece. You could just throw on over a nice little duster over top of a cardigan um, and turtleneck combo. So really fun. I did get this in the smallest size, which was a small. 
All right, that little velvet puffer I was talking about is this one, and these are 95% polyester, 5% spandex, and I think that these are the best quality coats ever. Like, they are seriously super warm, very thick, very, very well made. They do cost a little bit more because they are faux velvet. Well, maybe this is real velvet. Is there even such thing as faux velvet? I don't really know. Um, but I love this. It's on the cropped side, and it's like a dark green. This is so perfect for the holiday season if you're looking for a fun coat just to, like, spice things up, you know, change the mood. This sweater I really wanted last year, and I don't know why I never picked it up, but I got it this season, and it's a lot different than I expected. I did not know it was going to be so high-low. It looks like a cropped sweater in the front, and then it's, like, a full-length sweater in the back. Usually, I really despise high-low sweaters. Like, I don't like that. But this one, I don't know, something about it. I thought it was actually really cute on. Um, with jeans and over-the-knee boots, another essential. I keep saying with jeans and boots, but, like, seriously, guys, that's my everyday wardrobe here at school. I either wear jeans, um, a sweater, and boots, or I wear a turtleneck, a vest, or, like, a fun coat, and then jeans and boots. So, that's pretty much the only thing I wear to class. So these have another really fun statement sleeve. This would be fun with it. Fun. Can I stop with the word fun? This would be great with um, a turtleneck layered underneath too if you are looking for a, to add a little bit of an extra layer. This teddy coat I honestly am not impressed with. Um, I don't know what size I got this in but it's really big on um, and it just like swallows me. This is a size small and it like swallows me. Um, it is a really, really cute color. It's like not a white, but it's not a full tan. It's like a light, it's like a toasted. If the, if toasted was a color, that would be what this is. It looks like a toasted marshmallow. It's super cute. It does have a little thinner lining, which I like. I hate when Shein coats don't put this little lining in. Um, and it does have buttons all along the side. Not my favorite coat, I'll be honest. It's fun to just throw on over top of your, like, sweatshirt and stuff if you're running to grab food or something or over your gym clothes. But this just would not suffice for a, a coat for this time of year where I live. But super cute, and if you're somewhere um, where it is a little bit warmer, this might be a good option for you. This teddy coat I'm very happy with. I have this teddy coat in the actual tan. Um, and this is, like, the dupe for the IMG coat that everyone had last year. I, like I said, I have it in the tan. I got it last year and I wore it all the time. I brought it here and I've worn it so much here. Surprisingly, it's warm and I can't figure out why it's like warm enough for fall and just like days where it is like 40 degrees, like I said. But it is and I decided to pick it up in white. I'll probably grab it in the black and maybe even the red for the holiday time. This isn't longer, um, it is just like a regular length coat, but it's not cropped either. And it's got two really deep, nice pockets um, in the front, and it zips all the way up. I prefer a coat that zips, so I love this white, and I'm so glad I picked this up. Moving on, we're going to switch things up and move to accessories um, and shoes for a little bit. I got this hat, and I really like the hat, but like it doesn't stay on my head. Like, look, I'll put it down, and then it like will start to like ease its way up, because my head is just so way too big for this hat um it is super cute though it's just black with like a little gold um i don't even know what this is it comes like off but it's like hooked on where this little front detail is so it doesn't fall off but i like this but don't get it if you have a big head like me moving on i got a pair of white booties from shein and i really like these but my feet really do not like these so these are adorable they are super pointed booties. Um, they have a really great heel height. They're actually only like two inches tall, which is perfect. Um, perfectly doable height for me. I love these. I think they're really sleek, and I think everyone needs a pair of white booties. I find myself needing these a lot for sorority events already, and I've only had them for a couple of weeks. However, I tried wearing these to class one day. Well, it was my mistake to wear these on a day of class when I had um, like a five-mile walk, but my feet were literally killing me. Um, they're just like not comfortable on the bottom like they were giving me friction blisters um, So these are fine for like an event um, If you're doing less than two miles of walking these are great, but do not wear these to class You will regret it and turn around and walk home and change your shoes. I guess I only got two pairs of shoes I really thought I got more than that, but I guess not um, I got these yellow booties and I think that they're so stinking cute. They've got just like a shorter heel. They are a bit shorter than the white heel, just by like half an inch and they are pointed, not as pointy as the white ones, but these are super cute. These are a much more suitable 
shoe and these are a lot more comfortable than the white ones for some reason some shoes are more comfortable than others I love the yellow I wish I had these last baseball season since I do wear yellow every home game I mean not anymore since I'm not in high school but um, I love these I think that they're great especially if you go to a school where like gold is your color so Kent State is navy and gold so these are like perfect for school functions and stuff I always size up for she and shoes I believe I got the size 40 in both of these um, which on the shoe says an eight and a half I'm a seven and a half for eight and both of these pairs fit me perfectly I actually forgot to film the try on portion of this bodysuit but it is super super cute I don't love the material of it it's honestly like a not so nice material like it's very scratchy um, but it is really cute it's got like a little ruffle it's got ruffles along the armpits just a long sleeve bodysuit um, this is on the, a little bit of a longer side for a bodysuit. I usually tend to stick to bodysuits that are 27 inches long. I think this one's probably like 28, maybe 28 and a half because I did notice it was a bit longer. It is full butt, which I, like I said is not my favorite, but it does have snaps that make it easy for you to go to the restroom with, um, which is the best detail for a bodysuit to have. This is honestly a fun top to dress up for the holidays. I think with some red tassel earrings and um, a red skirt, this would be really great for the holiday season. All right, I think these are quite possibly the worst thing I've ever gotten from Shein, and I'm really bummed about that because I really wanted to like these pants, especially because my sister requested that I get them. Um, but they look like they're going to be tapered black um, paper bag pants, but they literally fit like leggings. They're just skin tight black pants that are very unforgiving with a paper bag waist um they do have like a little tie right here you can't even really see because everything is black right now um but yeah not my favorite pants not very forgiving and these are 95 percent polyester five percent spandex and they are that really scratchy awful polyester i would definitely pass on these I did pick up these little green joggers and I really liked these. These were a pleasant surprise. Um, first of all, they're a really fun green color. These are like not my usual style, but I've been dabbling into a little bit of edgier pieces lately and I really like these. They are like a cargo style and they have like fun little pockets along the bottom. They are a very like wide leg jogger, so they definitely like are not super skinny or skin tight to your legs by any means and then they come with a really fun like silver chainish looking belt um to cinch your waist i love these because they make your waist look super super tiny with like a black um crop top and black chunky sneakers that would be a really fun look i've got two skirts the first being this little red latex ones um one of us picked this up one of my roommates for a um, Devils versus Angels date party and this is so fitting. Um, it's just a red latex skirt. We have a lot of this like latexy um, kind of material here just because it's really fun. This one is really small. I would recommend going up a size if you get this. Um, it does have a fun little slit. It's actually a pretty good length um, minus the slit but Okay, this skirt I really wasn't sold on when I just saw it and then I put it on and I actually really liked it. It is like a light pink it looks like corduroy, but it's really like a velvety material. It's actually super fun. I think that it's a good way to incorporate pink into your holiday look. Um, I actually, could be cute for Thanksgiving too. I don't know. I just like this little skirt. This is one that would look super good with tights and over the knee boots. This top, eh, it's nothing special. I mean, I'll probably wear it once or twice since I have it, but if I were to see this, I would pass on it just because it's not my favorite thing from Shein. Um, I don't even remember adding this to my car. I'm thinking maybe one of my roommates requested that I get this or something, but it's like a um, corduroy-ish kind of top. It's got white, blue, and little brown, um, like color blocking almost. And then it's got like black piping for the sleeves, waistband, stuff like that. Um, it's fun, you know, it would be cute with black jeans and white sneakers maybe, but just not my style really. Black faux fur vest, you know I had to do it guys. I have a white faux fur and I have a like regular color faux fur and I love both of them to death. I wear faux fur vests all the time. I think that they're a great piece and if they seem like they're out of your comfort zone, step out of your comfort zone because I promise you, you won't regret it. They are such a great piece to have and Shein's are like under $20 once you use a code, which is a great price and they're actually really good quality. I do notice that they shed a little bit, um, but because this one is black, I really don't think you'll be able to tell too much when you're wearing like a darker color top.
Before we hop into dresses, let's talk about pajamas first. Shein has some of the best pajamas, like matching pajama sets, in my opinion. I think they have some really fun ones. Um, I picked this pair up with my sister in mind. They've got little flamingos on them, and they're super, super cute. Some Shein pajamas run small, but I tend to just stick with the small. And this pair, like, fits fine. They're always the same measurements, but sometimes you get a pair and they, like, fit really tiny. I got these in a small, and like I said, they're, like, oversized. They fit great. Just some fun little flamingos. I also picked up the cactus pair just because, I don't know, I really liked the cacti. They looked super cute. Black piping on the shorts, just a light pink short. They're pretty much the exact same light pink, just with different detailing on them. And I got these in a size extra small, and they fit pretty much the same way as the size small in the flamingos. So, like I said, super cute. Love these, and they wash really well, too. All right, let's talk about dresses. I've got quite a few of them because I was picking out dresses for specific occasions. Oh, well, first there's a random sports bra here. I did try this on on camera. Honestly, I haven't tried this on yet, so I don't even know if it's good or not. Um, the quality is not the best. I can just tell by feeling it. It's not my favorite material, but I wanted to give Shein Workout Wear a try, and I've been needing a white sports bra. It does have pads in it, which is nice, so it's obviously not see-through. This is what the back looks like. I will work out in this one day this week, and I will update you guys in a week in my life vlog, so make sure that you guys are subscribed so you see um, what I think. plethora of white dresses, and all for, well, not all for various reasons, but let's talk, okay? The first dress, I really wanted to love this dress. One of my roommates requested this for a Devils versus Angels date party, and this is like perfect for that. It's actually super, super cute. It's got like a silver chain that goes around your neck, and then it's white sequin. It's like a lie. It's like super extra without being super extra, if that makes sense. Like this gives me such Marilyn Monroe vibes. I wish I was her for Halloween. I think I would have been so cute with it. Um, the only problem is that this part is like really, really big. Um, maybe if I wore like a different bra with it, it would be okay, but like the back is open, so you almost have to wear a sticky bra. I don't know. The fit of it is actually really good on this part of it, like the second half of it, but on top it's a little too big. So if you are bigger than a size 34 um, around bra size, then I would pick this up. But if you're a 34 or smaller, skip this because it's probably gonna be too big. Okay, my initiation, um, for my sorority has actually passed by the time this video goes up, but, um, it is on November 16th. I'm filming this before the 16th of November. Um, and we need a white dress for our initiation, so I picked up a few different options just so that I could have a couple of different ideas. Um, this one is super cute. I actually love the fit of this one, and I think it's a really great length. However, it is just a little too tight for me to wear for my initiation. It's got a really cute little collar right there, and that same material is on the sleeves. Just they flow out a little bit. Super cute, just doesn't really work for the occasion I was looking for. I always find myself needing white dresses though, so I definitely um, will be keeping that, you know. This one is like that same exact like white lacy material. It's not the nicest lace. I've definitely gotten better lace from Shein, but it's also not the worst, especially for the price you're paying. This one I really like. It's got two little ruffles and it's got a really modest um, neckline. It is just like a high neck. And then the sleeves will look like this. They do have like a little elastic around here. Um, not a bishop sleeve, like not a statement sleeve, you know, just like a classic little look. I actually have this dress in the pink version by Sanja by Sanja Morgan. Um, I think they're honestly probably the same dress, just one is like $70 more. This is the brand Simply, and I really like this dress. It is a little bit bigger on top, which is the only reason why I'm torn between which white dress to wear for my initiation. I'm going to try it on with my nude heels and decide, but I love this. It's got really feminine um, ruffles to it, super cute, and it cinches the waist really, really nice. Black dress was picked up for some of it, and I just can't remember what. Um, it is super flattering. It makes you look so 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 skinny um this is a great dress it's got no zipper to it it's just solely elastic i got this in a size extra small and like i said it fits like a glove it's got these little like sleeves that you can either wear on the shoulder or off i wore it off the shoulder in the try on and it looked great um just a fun dress to have in college because you need random dresses like that from time to time 
All right, two red dresses. This one was picked up for that same Devils vs. Angels date party, and I was not expecting to like this as much. This is so not my style, but Lauren was like, please, Mackenzie, I think you'll really like it, and I actually loved the way this fits. It's very flattering. I'm usually not one for form-fitting stuff. This is like a bodycon without being super, super body y if that makes sense, and this is like a really weird material. It's almost like... You know that like fake soft almost? That's kind of what this feels like. It feels like you would sweat in this if you wore this out in my opinion, but I don't know. Super cute and very flattering. I also got this red dress. Don't even ask me why. I just saw it and I was like, you know, that thing is so cute. This is, I have really great luck with Shein evening wear. I don't really know why, I just do. Um, they have some awesome pieces that won't break the bank. This one is like, it's got a ruffle that like goes over the shoulder and then like a sweetheart, ne sweetheart neckline. It's got a slit on the left hand side that like slits pretty high up. I really like this. I am someone that's so extra and will probably wear this for like Christmas. Um, Christmas Eve with that floor length cheetah coat so if you see me in that on Christmas like don't text this top I wanted to like but it kind of gives me pirate vibes like it just doesn't look good on me um, I'm not gonna button it up here because it's such a pain to button up but it's got really like old-school kind of sleeves to it and it like it's got this kind of detailing I don't even know what this is called it's like little hooks like it hooks all the way up I will keep this in college, like here, for the sole reason that there's always a theme night or something that you would actually find yourself needing a top like this, either like a decade or a pirate, something like that. So I will keep this for that reason, but if you're not a college student, I would like not recommend getting that. Like, I don't know why you would need that shirt in your wardrobe. This sweater I have in a darker brown and it's great. So I decided to pick it up in the hunter green. Oh, I did get another color guys. I got hunter green. Um, this is oh, on the thinner side. So if you are somewhere colder like I am and you want that extra layer, I would just layer a mock neck or something like this underneath of it. It's got really, really wide statement sleeves. Um, they don't look like they're that big and then you try it on and they like swallow you. Another sweater that if you're looking for sweaters to wear with leggings, this would be a great option. It does cover your butt. It's the perfect oversize and it's very cozy. All right, moving on. This is the last dud of all the things that I have um, in this haul and I have some awesome sweaters coming your way. So bear with me, we're almost there. This little two piece set is actually a lot cuter on than it looks off, but still I would probably pass on this. It's very, very thin, a little blazer. It's This is houndstooth. I remember I was trying to talk about houndstooth. And then the bottoms I really wanted to love. I thought these would be like a paper bag style and they're just, they fit like leggings. Like I don't want leggings on the bottom, you know, like that's just not flattering. I will give these um, pants pockets because they're a a lot softer than those black pants I shared earlier and B they do have pockets which is great but this is not my style and these pants are another thing my sister requested her and I actually both wanted these and I'm so glad I picked these up these are like the most fun pants I think I own like look at how stinking cute these are they've got like three little ruffles um, tiered ruffles on the bottom. These are so fun. This is a cute little turtleneck. It's a thinner cable knit, but it's a really, really great fit. I love the asymmetrical hem to it. Um, this is super cute. Everyone needs a good white turtleneck, and if you think otherwise, you are wrong. This is not my color. Um, in fact, I never reach for this color. I don't think I have anything even remotely close to this. This is like a periwinkle almost, and I really love this sweater. Like I said, I love a turtleneck, and I've been really into like a more cropped fit of a turtleneck. I think it's really flattering. You can wear a really fun belt with it and then a pair of booties that matches, and that's like my, been my vibe lately. Um, and I really think that these bell sleeves are fun. I don't know, just a different sweater, and I've been trying to incorporate a little bit more color into your wardrobe. However, once you see the rest of these sweaters, you'll be like, well, you're not trying very hard, but I, I made one small step and out of like the 10 sweaters, I got one colored one. So give me some brownie points, guys. This sweater would be so great with leggings and over the knee boots. And I'm usually not one who wears leggings unless they're like workout leggings. Um, but you know, this would be a great sweater to wear with leggings just lounging around. It's a huge chunky turtleneck. I don't even know if I sized up in this or if it's just naturally that big. I got this in a medium and it's very, very oversized. Super cute. I love, I keep saying super cute. I'm sorry guys. Um, I love the gray knit and it's got little fun tassels along the bottom. Beware with tassels and Shein. The washer does tend to eat them up, so I probably will not hand, or I'll probably hand wash that instead of putting it in the washer, especially here at school. Um, but 
I really enjoy that sweater. I've got one random top somehow thrown in here. I have this in a lighter tan from Romwe and I really, really enjoyed this top. It's just a tiered little baby doll top that I think is great for a multitude of occasions. You can easily dress this up or down and with a statement necklace and earrings, this would be really great. Um, this is like a really nice blue color. Um, you know, so I'm stepping out, I'm adding some color. This is like the exact same color though as your jeans, so I'd probably wear this with black denim or white. The last sweater I got, I love. This is huge. Another very, very oversized sweater, and I only got this in a medium. I tend to get a medium in my sweaters and an extra small or small in everything else I order from Shein. Um, but this sweater was humongous. Like, look at how wide this thing is. But it actually is like a really... I just wanted to say fun and cute. It's a really awesome fit to it. Um, I think this is actually great with leggings. I know I just said I was not a sweater and leggings kind of girl, but I think I might be now that I have so many sweaters that would be really cute with it. Um, with leggings and statement sneakers, that would be, you know, something a little different, a little cozier for class, but it still looks like you're putting in some effort. This is a really, really heavy, chunky knit, and this one's pretty soft. So. 10 out of 10 on this sweater, and I got some awesome sweaters throughout this haul that I can't wait to wear to class. All right, everyone, that is going to be all for today's haul. If you guys would like to see how I'm styling some of these pieces, make sure that you're following me on my blog at stylebymckenz.com and on Instagram at stylebymckenz. I will leave the links to every single piece that you saw in today's haul linked below, so make sure you check out that description. And I know that there's a specific coupon code for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, so I will leave those on the screen right here and in the description below. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this giant Shein haul, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!